Okay, from the Delaware Jet Factory, I finally have uh, finished the rebuild of this amazing 1.8 uh, and enlarged Aeromaster, originally built by Tony Wilford of Delaware RC Club, one of the founders of the club. Anyway, this is a completely scratch built 1.8 uh, size Aeromaster, Andrews Aeromaster, in the original wing configuration. And I, I stripped it, re glued everything. I did make some changes. I sheeted the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical fin because they were a little on the weak side. And I added uh, one servo per elevator. So, you know, a very positive elevator control now. And of course, I added uh, one servo per aileron in the wings because uh, he had push rods in there. So it'll now have much more positive control. I believe than the original. So this is a really beautiful plane. It's got the all the, the traditional lines of, of the Airmaster family. For those of you who ever had one of these, you know, you could build them in two or three, I guess three wing configurations. And here again, this is pretty much the original. It's powered by an OS FT 300, which is a, a four stroke. And uh, I sent the ignition system away, um, and I'm going to have this uh, converted to gasoline instead of glow. So the plane is pretty much ready to fly, except for the cabane wires. I have to rebuild those, and the ignition system uh, is, isn't back yet, but it will be soon. I think it'll be very responsive in the air, just like the original. These planes take off and land like a dream, and they're very majestic flyers. I expect this will be pretty much the same. So it has an all Futaba system, including a, a, a power box, uh, the small cockpit, which does give a readout of, uh, I'm sorry, a base log, which gives a readout of the battery condition, which is something I really trust. And the receiver's right there. There's plenty of room in there for a, uh, a, a gyro if I think it needs one, although, you know, I'm not too sure this plane will need a gyro. I had, over my flying career, I had two or three of these in, in the various configurations, and they all were just great flyers. Another look at the profile of the plane. I didn't add too much bling yet. I'm gonna. Add, I have some vinyl, uh, vinyl trim coming in to put a 1.8 Aeromaster uh, by Tony Wilford on there on the sides, and of course my FAA number, which I don't have on there yet. I did put the traditional uh, checkerboard on the bottom wing. I might eventually put a little bit on the tail, but right now I just want to finish it off and take for some flights. Let's see how it does. The radio is uh, program not programmed right now for dual uh, dual rates. It's just a full throw. But it will have eventually uh, dual rates. These are probably this is probably way too much. So from the Delaware Jet Factory, I'm just waiting for the weather to get better so we can go flying over and out.